We're here today with David P. Rowe, Professor of Law at the University of Miami School of Law in Coral Gables, Florida. Good evening, Professor Rowe. Good evening, sir. Professor, could you please comment on the decision by the Prime Minister to set up a commission of inquiry uh, regarding the Manat Phelps affair? Well, it certainly was a good idea for the Prime Minister to establish a commission of inquiry. To the extent that a commission of inquiry is an independent body that can use investigative resources to try to determine the truth of what has happened with respect to the government of Jamaica's relationship with Manat and their attempts to prevent Christopher Koch from being extradited to the United States. Considering that the Prime Minister is a central figure in this affair, uh, how can he ensure objectivity in the commission that he himself uh, is setting up? Well, that was initially a concern that many commentators had, that the commission, to the extent that it has been appointed by the Prime Minister, has lost its objectivity ab initio. And because of the fact that the Prime Minister had any involvement in the establishment and or the composition of the Commission immediately put the Commission in a light where it is deemed to be a biased Commission. Uh, in what other ways could a com similar Commission have been set up? The Prime Minister had the option of having one of his legal officers invite three independent commissioners from overseas, perhaps from the United Kingdom, to come over and sit in a judicial capacity with the power of subpoena and the judicial power to examine witnesses. The Prime Minister could also hire an individual with the power of a special prosecutor also perhaps from the United Kingdom to proceed with this inquiry. It would prevent the suggestion of bias, of political interference, and of generally ineffectiveness that the current commission is saddled with. What are the potential legal implications of the commission's findings? Well, if the Commission is courageous and determines where the wrongdoing falls and who is responsible for the wrongdoing, then there ought to be criminal prosecutions in this matter. Certainly prosecutions for obstruction of justice and perhaps for conspiracy as well. If the Commission does not have the courage to come to the root or to get to the root of this matter, then I think it will be a great waste of time and a waste of money. Do you think that uh, anyone else in Parliament will come up with another procedure to do something if the findings are not uh, particularly scathing or if uh, that's not an issue? No, I think that the Commission of Inquiry is, is Jamaica's last hope of having the, this matter resolved locally. However, the grand jury system in the United States is available and probably is already probing this matter in some respects. So if Jamaica does not keep its commitment to the public to find out and to punish the wrongdoing in the Manat Phelps Coke extradition scandal, then perhaps the grand jury from the United States will have to intervene and sanction the parties involved. Professor, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, sir.